It's been a turbulent time for American aerospace and defense firm Boeing. Now, Boeing has been facing troubles with safety issues on the fleet of 737 series passenger planes. Forget planes, even Boeing's spacecraft is facing engineering issues. Now, battling gas leaks and multiple delays, the Boeing Starliner craft is still in space. The craft is scheduled to return to Earth sometime next week. So what's the big issue that's plaguing Boeing's spacecraft? Now, Boeing's astronaut carrying spacecraft Starliner is on its maiden test flight to space. On June 5th, Starliner mounted atop the Atlas V rocket and lifted off. It was carrying two American astronauts, Butch Wilmore and Sunita Williams. Their destination was the International Space Station, a football field-sized lab that circles 425 kilometers above the Earth. From the very beginning, Starliner had been facing troubles. At the time of the launch, there was a helium gas leak in the capsule. Despite that, the teams went ahead with the launch, with complete confidence that they could still make it very comfortably. Helium is commonly used in almost all space-faring rockets. Helium is an inert gas which does not react with other chemicals and materials. Helium is also lightweight in nature, so huge quantities of helium can be compressed in small tanks. In most rockets, helium is used to pressurize the rocket's fuel tanks. Simply put, the rocket fuels have to be fed to the engines at a certain pressure. By using helium gas, fuel can be consistently made to flow into the rocket engines. Through the course of Starliner's journey to the International Space Station, it faced a series of helium gas leaks. Five of Starliner's 28 thrusters had failed. However, the leaks only delayed the primary mission by an hour, and the capsule docked with the International Space Station as planned. Helium leaks can affect the firing of small engines, which helps the Starliner capsule steer itself in space and adjust its position. Originally, the Starliner test mission was to last only eight days. However, with the ongoing helium leaks and the related analysis, it could return only by 26th of June. The helium leak issue sounds dangerous, but NASA and Boeing maintain that all is well. They say that the Starliner capsule contains 10 times more helium than it actually needs for its return mission. But spaceflight is never easy and nothing can be left to chance. In space, there's always possibilities for endless errors. Spaceflight is the hardest engineering feat known to mankind. Irrespective of how much testing is done on Earth, there is always a risk. In space, under vacuum conditions, under extreme temperature variations in hostile environments, components and materials behave very differently than on Earth. For Boeing particularly, Starliner's safe return is extremely crucial. Starliner was meant to undertake its maiden flight by the year 2020, but suffered multiple delays owing to technical and engineering issues. Even as Starliner flew to space, it faced a few leaks, which further damaged Boeing's faltering reputation caused by safety issues in their 737 series of passenger planes. America intended to have two astronaut ferries to the space station. One is Boeing Starliner and the other is SpaceX Crew Dragon. Musk's Falcon 9 rocket started ferrying astronauts to space in 2020. The Falcon and Dragon combo has done multiple trips to the International Space Station and back. And there's that call out for Max. Next week, if all goes well and Boeing's capsule returns to Earth safely, we will have to wait and see, but their teams have a lot of work to do. Boeing needs to fill all the, fix all the problems with their capsule, which will take months of tests, re-engineering and testing. Now, what's worse, the portion of the spacecraft which is suffering leaks will not be brought back to Earth. It is designed in a way that it would be discarded just before the craft returns to Earth. Boeing had been hoping to perform routine missions with its Starliner from 2025, but the ongoing issues do not inspire much confidence. Commander of Starliner, Butch Wilmore, now back on the space station, the third visit for both astronauts and the first...